frozen. If you can see here that you open the skin uh, and uh, you get down to the to the oh, meat yeah. underneath. It looks like chicken breast. It is. Uh, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you explain why it's okay that we're doing this? Well, a vet said that these should be used because they have been professionally slaughtered and bled out. Uh, the blood has all been taken out of them immediately. And uh, I trust her judgment on this. She is a special a specialist uh, on birds. I'm sorry to make this sound like a science project, but this is this is interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah, here's oh. the uh, the breastbone, and and the uh, oh. and of course the breastbone is so wide because the muscles attached to it that flap the wings. Yeah. And that's why a human angel, who human-shaped angel, uh, with wings, <laughs> never made any sense to me because there was no breastbone, and and uh, no human muscles could ever flap any wings worth flying with. That really doesn't make sense, does it? The whole human angel thing. <laughs> no, it makes absolutely no sense. Oh my god, I feel connected to nature. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ta-da! Ooh, that's Ooh. a horrible sound. <laughs> yeah, that was a horrible sound. There we go. Next. It's cool. Look, compare this from a fully grown two-year-old bird with what you find in a broiler. And this is what it's supposed to be like uh, in nature. It's very interesting. Oh god, look at that. Hi, Mrs. Knuckle. <laughs> Mrs. Maybe Miss. Uh, a lady we met who was... Um, who became a daughter-in-law here in 1948. She said that Saturday dinner used to start with the father of the family going out to the hen house to, with an axe. And uh, they had chicken soup for Saturdays. And uh, today we have yeah. chickens that grow to uh, six pounds in under six weeks from hatching. And uh, I, I think that's extreme. This is what chicken should look like, and it's also what chicken should taste like, because these chickens will taste. Yeah, I mean, when you eat them, Milana, you're going to notice that you haven't eaten chicken like this in a very long time. Well, ever... I ate it. The first chicken you killed, I ate. Okay. Sigurd, what have you been doing? Hmm? You've been dragging that thing into the forest for the dog to find. Yeah. Did she find it? Yeah. Bris, come. Did it take long? Oh, she's so cute. We're really making headway here. We are. <laughs> headway. Yeah, yeah. Definite headway. I'm giving this logic the heads up. But she's going head down. Um, some of these really are solid. So we're defrosting them in hot water? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, which one is the extra toe? This one? Um, it's this one. Yeah. So, are you on? Yes. Yeah. Now the French uh, favorols, we had a few of those for a while. French? Yes, the French. Uh, they have an extra toe. And uh, that makes paternity difficult to dispute when the mother's not a favorol and the baby comes out with uh, five toes. And uh, it was clear from the number of five toed birds we had that uh, we had American roosters and French roosters, and the girls preferred the Frenchmen. Or maybe they were just, you know, more. Uh, charming or more persuasive I don't know what more French they probably read them poetry <laughs> maybe or was it just be better rapists I don't know well what you do is you cut along the breastbone on one side like that and you want to go as close to the breastbone as possible and you will see that the chicken breast actually has several layers here is the outer layer, and you will see when you buy one in the shop that it also has layers. Uh, and this time I simply separate the layers. Wow. Like that. And um, then I take the inside layer. There and I keep, keep going all the way down to the bone. Here. And then I'm cutting it outwards this time. Sometimes I carry cut from the outside too. This is a job that we haven't been looking forward to and now we can look back on it. And I think it's the kind of job that's better to look back on than to look forward to.
Better? Ah, uh, yes. A loose chicken. <laughs> yeah. Loose hen. Oh, come on. Come on, it's the last one. Please just give. Maybe her name was Lucy. Oh, Whoa. I don't want to think about that. No, it wasn't. Well, Lucy died ages it? ago, didn't he? Who was this one? Hmm? We've had cats called Lucy, but we have never had No, a you had a rooster called no, you Lucy. Had a, you had a bird called Lucy. And he bit people or something, so he was put down. <laughs> Sorry. Just get carried away. What? Come on. Här kommer det inte bicha till. None of the bichers are coming. Yeah, I'll, I'll take your spot. Okay. Okay. Then the headstone, which way should we orient it? Um, I think it should be sitting like that. Okay, dog. How many were there? The telt, the Mickey, the Sika 15. 15, yeah. And that's that. So that must have grabbed one of them. Yeah. Munin or the other. Or the rest of the other. Must have grabbed it. Must have grabbed it. Must have grabbed it.